Hey guys, I know this video is not going to be in a regular style, but I just heard the news and I had some thoughts I wanted to share with y'all. For those of you who haven't heard, Ken Block tragically passed away in a snowmobile accident today, which is just a great loss for the car community because Ken really was that guy who had a huge impact on me and Reed from a young age as well as millions of others. You know, growing up, I, I would wear the Hoonigan brand at every car meet I went to. Look forward to the Jim Gymkhana videos releases as and just be blown away at the crazy builds he did that really pushed the envelope of what thought possible, which is the best way I can describe Ken Block and everything he did. Like me and Reed grew up around cars and liking cars, then one day we stumbled across this video of a certain 1965 Mustang driving through the streets of Los Angeles. And we were just blown away at the horsepower numbers, the burnout that spun all four tires, and the driving, just everything about it was just mind-blowing to us. He was in a league of his own, and no one could even come close to competing with that car or that video. But he would push the envelope again by nearly doubling the horsepower and shooting up Pike's Peak hill climb. Those videos he did would get millions and millions of views, and for a car video, that is just insane. But he never let that fame change him. He would always do multiple charity events, uh, auction off cars to charity, all while being a good father and husband, and just an all-around good guy, which makes this whole situation just hit home a little harder. So, this is definitely a tragic day that will be remembered for years to come, and Ken Block will be remembered for everything he did. But if I could say one more thing to Ken Block, it would be thank you.